Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Saving Your Disaster campaign running out of steam. It is time for a retaliation mission. We're trying to swing this thing around. We're still not quite there. Uh, this one was deep, deep, deep in the dumpsters. So now we're going to do the retaliation mission and once we have recovered from the wounds, we're going to kill the assassin that's the idea and then hopefully i can expand into the entirety of russian territory or asian territory um, so that is the core idea we take um, the base for classes as well as our freshly acquired reaper and another grenadier on top of it and that must be enough in order to hopefully win this all right, landed. Leading an assault on the resistance encampment in this area. Our people are doing what they can to fight back. Yeah, we start, but with somewhat low ground that is not optimal. Resistance soldiers hunkered down not far from your position. But we do have. Move in and help fend off the attacking alien forces. We do have one concealed unit, our Reaper. I will go. Rushing in. Oh, chrysalids, holy moly. I tell you what, uh, the low ground might not be the worst of all things that could have happened to us because what we can do is we can use that as a vision uh, barrier. Moving everybody down there of course with the exception of the sniper and the chosen appears uh, not good hunter uh, even worse kind of a preparation of what's going to happen soon shadow step cannot uh, trigger overwatch summons beasts immune to melee damage um, chance to return fire missed shots is bad and increased defense after every attack these two in combination are pretty gnarly takes extra explosion damage and hates uh, skirmishers okay i'll keep that in mind for our invasion of her territory we just picked up the chosen assassin's energy signature she's moving on the squad's position commander all right Chrysalids, oh, come on, you guys can do that. There you go, good job. The end is coming. You can do it. I can tell you what else you can do. Watch and awe when we're pushing in. And when we're just decimating you guys. Okay. Very nice uh, tactical move to go to that ledge and get rid of the chrysalids. Oh wow, that was a fantastic hit. Uh, we're going to move over here. Making a room for our ranger. Position confirmed. There you go. That solves the chrysalid problem. And as we are moving in deeper, there's another pack somewhere around. I just need to spot it out. All right, there is exactly that second pack I was talking about. Mm, this here will trigger. Um, don't want to go there either. We're just going to stay here and we're overwatching. There we go. Oh, come on. Close, but no cigar. Not good. Oh, 
that's a beefy pack. Double Elite Spectre. It's not just normal Spectre, Elite Spectres, of course. The resistance operators are doing a good job so far. They are doing an excellent job. Mm. Our sniper, on the other hand, I can't really say that they are doing such an excellent job. Almost 90% chance to hit. Oh. Disappointing. Alright. Moving into the open. <laughs> Why does she have obsessive reloading? Okay, properly. ignore the Elite Spectre. 13, that should be a kill. Can't take up um, high ground there. What I can do is for Stephanie here do an A protocol and then overwatch ourselves that at least gives her some uh, cover. Let's kill one of the specters. Okay, whatever. Uh, such a beautiful day in the land of XCOM. We are moving up. Try to deal with the Archon. At least that's a solid hit. And a burning. Can we finish him? <laughs> no, of course. Another 80% shot. And another reason to hate the game. Moves over here. Um, I tell you what, we don't want to reveal ourselves, so time to work on that. Spectre. And we're going to take some damage. That was a, an absolutely poor turn. Seldomly seen such a amateurish uh, set of shots. Still up. Of course, Shadowbound. Yep, yeah. that was to be expected. Take damage, good. 
Can you guys focus on that other Spectre? Well, that's okay as well, I suppose, but this Spectre here is a real problem. Hmm. I have warned the elders that my brethren were not up to the task. Still, their deaths only solidify my place as the true chosen. It's one of the elders chosen. There's a large group of civilians pinned down within range of your position. Sensors indicate hostile forces are closing in fast. We need to get in there before the aliens slaughter those people. I will end this quickly. So just out of curiosity, um, this would cost us two civilians. place and I hate to do that a deadly trap. But it's almost like they are taking hostages and I can't I can't uh, deal with uh, that hostage situation. Unfortunately, two of the civilians will go down. down. Commander, Advent isn't backing off. They've got units in the AO that are ignoring our forces just to get a better shot at the civilians. Take those bastards down. These innocents give their lives for your freedom, Commander. Um, moving over here. And I think what we're going to do is frostbite her. Very nice. And then follow up with the face off. Good. Excellent. Costly, but still good. Target disabled. The resistance team is in the clear. They're moving to help the other survivors. Yeah. We lost two civilians. Which, by the way, on average, you're typically losing when you're, uh, when you're trying to liberate that first camp. Trying to use the high ground as much as humanly possible to get to the assassin. Unfortunately, she can suffer. Okay. We do have a problem. Interesting what she can do with just one action point, right? Eh? I wish I could do that with one action point.
<laughs> she summoned, she attacked, and then she moved across half of the map. Yeah. Sounds legit. And we are stuck with two big fat berserkers. Don't even know if I would prefer berserkers or chrysalids in this case. Okay, we got to deal with the Berserks. And we got to deal with her as well. We also got to deal with the Berserks. Um, and I'm thinking about how we can move towards the next target and at the same time not lose our position all right so what I want to do is use falling damage as well as everything in our power to make the life of the berserks a living hell very good I think that worked reasonably well Okay, got you, understand, you're unhappy, reloading, and I think this is a perfect time where we need hit point damage, might as well banish. Good, so one of them is down, that's helpful, that's very helpful, hmm, what do we do with the rest, so... Next up, hit this person. Burning as well. And hit it. Down to what? Three hit points. All right. Uh, Shadowfall would kill him, which is good. And I would do exactly that by moving as close as possible to here. Already trying to get to the next uh, stage. And that'll make us concealed. Moving over here. We know she's shell shocked, so this will not kill her, but she's still burning. I have a bit of a hope that that might together be enough. Uh, potentially not. No. Could have killed her with a uh, sniper and uh, grenadier, but then I would have needed to deal with the berserker. Well, that would have been an equally unfun experience. Harbor wave, not perfect, but also not that bad. I think all things considered, we're actually performing relatively speaking well. Perfect uh, focus fire of the resistance operatives. We 
once they uh, get the Berserk uh, very f far down, so that's not bad. Well, first and foremost, shut up. Thank you. That should um, get rid of days. There you go. I'd say we owe our people a break after taking down that chosen commander. I, I would say we, we should come a little bit down because this is actually way more intense than I would have anticipated. There is nowhere to hide. Get rid of one of them. We're charging up. Continuing to go for the Spectre. Very nice. Got eyes on me. Good job. And I don't want to use a grenade here. Let's hope that we're hitting it. Yep. Okay, down to just a few hit points. More chrysalids. No. Yes. Ooh. Oh. <clears throat> That's unfortunate. I just thought we were doing all right. But then I realized we were not. I will always find you. Yeah, Shadowbound to be expected. Interesting choice, interesting choice. All right. A lot of resistance fighters are still left over. So that Berserker should go down. Clever. You don't want uh, the chrysalids to reproduce. <laughs> okay. Come on, kill the bird, okay. We will need to be a little bit clever here in order to get this pack down, but I need to pause for a second. We'll be back. All right, back in action. Took a bit uh, to uh, do what I needed to do. Um, yeah, we got chrysalids infestation over there. And the correct way of dealing with it is, or could only be, described as a double whammy. So, if I was to throw... Nah. Nah. 
I wanted to explode both um, of them, but unfortunately that's not going to happen. So this here could definitely happen. Um, let's reload. Gives us a good mo uh, moment to do so. And let's hit both of them with an explosion. We're out of grenades almost. This was the option for a double whammy. But I realized it's potentially not worth it. Instead, oh, let's just destroy uh, the chrysalid the old fashioned way. Moving closer over here. No, yes, thank you. Let's go. Um, the berserk can't traverse uh, distance other than using letters. So what we're going to do is we're just going to leave him hang high and dry up there whilst we are moving closer to the target. Nice little hit, good job. And whilst we're at it, uh, let's hit him again. All right. Big fat execution, that's what I like to see. Yeah, unfortunately you guys did not kill that berserk here. You're instead focusing on... a single elite specter. Can you at least kill him? Thank you. All right. Now we're focusing on that other Berserk. Oh, thank God. They finally hit it. Are we seeing him from here? <laughs> How do we not see him? Uh, okay, I... Gotta remove... The cover. Well, this should not damage anyone. And here we go. Can we see the berserk now? Is it possible? Oh yeah. Well, finally. There we go. Moving closer. Obsessive reloader? No. The game isn't that cruel. Let's kill. Hopefully the faceless ones will now show. Good, we need them for mimic beacons, remember. We don't have those. It's killing time. Good, overwatch. Roger that. Moving closer. Overwatch. Reloading and overwatch. Lots of reloading apparently. 
everybody wants to reload their gun. Okay, we know that you're in there. So this here should spot you out, shouldn't it? Oh yeah. Fabulous hit, good job. Closing on target position now. And that's a kill. No longer a threat. Okay, okay. Good mission. We won and we got a couple of ability points on top of it. Plus we got one faceless corpse, which might be enough to get the single mimic beacon. The guy uh, really put the uh, safe game into a ditch. The lack of uh, defensive tools uh, is shocking. Like no mimic beacon, no med kits. That makes for a very, very difficult campaign. Still managed to exceed my expectations. Excellent work. All right. If you say so, then it is excellent work. Uh, nah, I don't want another supply raid. Um, I think we're good. If you ask me, these Intel. Are just as crazy yeah, increase as regional money. income. We need. We need so more money. Very good. So, 27, that's a lot. Uh, we're almost at 500 now. Um, we got Intel and we got a supply rate. Supply rate would uh, create alloys and delirium and some supplies. But I wanted to do the sh chosen stronghold instead. Uh, so, let's take a look here. A couple more tired days. That's our main team. And taking the skirmisher, which she hates, would be... That's, that's a very good uh, team against her. So... Question is, do, you, do we really want the supply rate? Is it adding anything or should we just gain intel? I think we're just scanning for intel. Might as well keep it up, Commander. I'm not all that happy about it. But one of my best people has decided to come join your crew after that last covert. Okay, so do we have promotions? Yes, we do. Seven days for promotion. Uh, we can definitely use that. Hunting the last chosen would be good. Question is who do you whom do we want to promote? We got a Colonel uh, mm, Reaper now. Um, mm. I mean, getting another specialist up would definitely be helpful, but seven days is a long time. Getting another Grenadier up to Captain rank is good. Could try to do that. Um, it almost feels like a waste to use it on a corporal. Mm, tell you what, we're waiting one more, one more day, and then we're uh, doing that. Promotions are valuable. Can't just throw them away. 
Commander. The factions have readied proposals for various covert... So technically we could um, promote any of the majors, but I think they are close to promotion anyway, so that's not bad. If I promote the sergeant, that's an okay move. Not great, but okay. Um, get that other grenadier here. Uh, nah, let's get the sharpshooter, because we could actually use the grenadier. And we get some intel out of it, so not the best uh, mission, but it's uh, actually helpful for us to have more promoted soldiers. So here, remote start is always, Sting is helpful, Silent Killer is helpful, Extra Claymore is helpful, Shredding is helpful, um, the extra damage with Shrapnel is helpful, that's fantastic. Banish is uh, a great ability. Annihilate uh, would be good as well. Not sure if I am the biggest fan of spending 25 points for it. Uh, tactical rigging is very helpful, so we're definitely going to do that. Hollow targeting might be interesting. That's one option. Soul harvest is another one. Needle is another one. Um, shredder sort of substitutes for needle. Um, Blood Trail is good because more base damage, so we're taking that. Um, and target definition is good if you don't know the map well enough. I know the movement of the packs quite well, so I won't uh, go into it. Needle is not bad, Har Soul Harvester is not bad, Hold the Targeting is not bad. Either way, would work um, for the character. Um, Annihilate is good if you want to continue uh, just going ham and you know what why not let's do that and we do have enough um, points that's that's not a bad idea uh, hold the targeting together with sting is not bad either can be a good uh, setup so that's that um, got another promotion down here, I think. Yep. Good. And I believe that brings us to the end of today's episode because the next uh, step that we want to take is uh, to punish the Chosen. Right. Yeah, we we would go in with a different team, but I can do that um, off screen. I would end the episode here. Thank you for watching, guys. Appreciate uh, your viewership. This is still not fully uh, safe. We're now going to go and are. Killing the Chosen and then we need to get to live fire training and then I will call it uh, a safe campaign. Um, in the meantime, we still need more income to hopefully get another nanomed kit and how's the Mimic Beacon? Look at that. Mwah! Chef kiss. We can get a Mimic Beacon once we do have enough supplies that is of course, but uh, that's what you want to see. It's slowly but surely turning around. Um, it's that is very good. Twinkle to my eye to uh, to see that uh, we got a Mimic Beacon ready soon. Thanks for watching. See you soon. If you like saving your disaster campaigns, you know where to leave a comment and a like. And see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.